What's up guys, welcome back to The Glove Drop. Last night, the New York Rangers took on the Arizona Coyotes and it was a huge game for Jonathan Quick. Why? Because if he won last night, Jonathan Quick would then hold the title of winningest American-born goalie. So the whole team was behind it too. Everybody's there playing for Quick and trying to get that win, and that is exactly what the Rangers did. The game started off, and they did not have that much offense going. They seemed to be playing a little bit sloppy. There was a lot of open ice, and they couldn't really get anything going. But after the first 10 minutes, we started to see a little bit of pressure form, and there were some shots off. And then finally, with 5 minutes and 45 seconds to go, the Rangers get on the board. The Rangers stopped the Coyotes from getting into the zone with the defensive play by Lindgren, who puts it up to Panarin. Panarin gives a nice pass up from the red line to Lafreniere, which results in a two-on-one Lafreniere and Vinny Trocek. Lafreniere fakes the pass, fakes out the goalie, and he takes the shot himself and buries it, and the Rangers are up 1-0. Gets his puck little chip there. Coyotes get caught. Uh, too aggressive in the neutral zone. Two minutes into that second period, the New York Rangers strike again with the goal, this time by Ryan Lindgren. The Rangers win the faceoff, and they are completely controlling the entire play, just passing around the Coyotes. And then with a beautiful feed by Fox, Lindgren gets the second goal of the game. Rangers are up 2-0. Puck somehow stays out of your net and you get it out. A two-minute shift for this top line, unable to get... Coyotes do fight back, though, and with six and a half minutes to go, there's a play where they're entering the Rangers zone, and Adam Fox gets taken out of the play, leaving Truba alone with a two-on-one, and Michelli manages to get one past quick. A little chip pass from Josh Doan from the defensive zone. Here's the drop pass. McBain drives to the net. The Rangers answer back almost immediately. With 18, literally 18 seconds left, we see another goal. This time it's Alexi Lafreniere. Trocek puts in work to keep it in the zone after forcing a turnover and he sends a pass off at the top of the crease it is deflected off the skates of two coyote players where alexi lafreniere is then able to get a stick on it and he's a beautiful backhand to give the rangers the 3-1 lead lafreniere look at the hands look at the mitts right there in front forehand backhand the coyotes find a way to push back though and score their second of the night with 842 to go the coyotes are in the zone and there's a shot taken that is deflected off quick Keller follows his shot where he regains control and he beats Jonathan Quick at the angle, lifting it up and above. The shot, big juicy rebound by Quick, comes right back to Clayton Keller. And... So now it is a 3-2 game and it's still looking a little sloppy with the New York Rangers. It's just like, they're, they're not tight. It's not a tightly played game, especially in this second period. But with 3.21 to go, the Rangers are in the Coyote zone. They're keeping the four check pressure on and Truba takes a shot from wide out in the circle. There is a long rebound off of Amelka and Kreider is there to stuff it in. Truba sent towards the front, rebound, they score. But this goal is then challenged by the Coyotes because they thought that there was interference, goalie interference, or a hand pass, something, something was going on, but they thought there was goalie interference and the goal does manage to get turned over again, so we still have a 3-2 game. The Yotes take it and run with it. They got a little bit of momentum from that, and with 41 seconds to go, they are an aggressive forecheck, which causes a turnover behind the net. Schmaltz gets it out front, right in front of the net, and Biugastad is able to bury it. The net, a huge goal. It is now a tied game, 3-3. The third period starts and the Rangers are looking much stronger. They're looking a little bit more pulled together. The Rangers are exiting the zone with some quick passes. Lindgren carries it around the back of the net, gets a pass out to Rosovic, who puts it right on the tape of Chris Kreider. And Chris Kreider is able to score it this time and it counts this time. So that is Kreider's 300th goal as a New York Ranger and the Rangers retake the lead 4-3. Well, let's take a look. Good little chip in play there. The Rangers around the horn. There's the initial. The Rangers now run with that and then in another play where it's a nice quick, quick pass is out of the zone. The Rangers are headed up. Turns into an odd man rush. You got Lafreniere carrying the puck. He gets it up, centers it to Jones. Jones finds the back of the net. It is now a 5-3 game. Pull your screen. Opens up for the big one time. 10.30 to go. Arizona is on the power play. And after a missed pass back to Jersey, it leads to a chase for the puck down ice. Jersey ends up falling. He wasn't tripped or anything. He just fell over and Gaudreau beats him and he's wide open. He's got all the time in the world and he goes on to score a shorthanded goal for the Rangers, giving them now the 6-3 lead. He was wide open. That stick was cocked. He was twick with the Raptors here at the mullet. Nice finish though. Despite this surge in offense, the Rangers are still playing a little bit sloppy and they do end up getting a delay of game call after Zach Jones put the puck over the glass. So the Coyotes are back on the power play for the third time tonight. They didn't get anything going in their first two, but this time they managed to. The Rangers have all four players back, but the Yotes are just cycling the puck around them. And Kraus beats Jonathan Quick glove side with seven minutes to go. Sweet spot for Lawson Kraus. 
Just lets it fly. Ball. And all of a sudden, again, the momentum is flipped and the Coyotes have it back this time. So it's a minute and a half later, they go and score again. It's a hard shot by Cooley that deflects in and it is now a 6-5 game. The Redirection. This goes off, I believe. The Coyotes pull the goalie with two and a half minutes to go, which was a terrible idea because after a giveaway on a bad pass, Capo Caco gains control of it. Heads up ice gets it over to Artemi Panarin who scores the empty net goal. It is now a 7-5 game with two and a half to go. He's had full control. Kessler ring with the puck. He tries to go backhand up the middle of the ice and Caco. And for some reason, they pull the goalie again. Fox makes a defensive play, freeing the puck, and he gets it up to Alexi Lafreniere, who sends it down. Another empty net goal. This is Lafreniere's third. He gets a hat trick on the night. Right here tonight, turnover inside the offensive blue line. This play there by. The Rangers take the 8-5 win over the Arizona Coyotes. So this was a big game for milestones. We've got Jonathan Quick, most winning is American Warren goalie. They're out to congratulate their winning goaltender on victory number 392. We've got Kreider's 300th goal. You've got Alexi Lafreniere scoring his first hat trick. And it was all around a good game in terms of getting, you know, accolades. But I don't think the Rangers played great in this game at all. I think that they went in a little bit too loose. There was way too many little mistakes here and there, way too much ice for the Coyotes to skate on, but I guess they're kind of just in cruise control. I don't want them to be in cruise control though, but I, could f I felt like that's what they were doing last night. They're already in the playoffs, they're already ahead by so much, and going in Arizona is such a bad team, so they just didn't bring what they had with them, it seemed. But they did get the win anyway. It was the 50th win for the New York Rangers and they maintain that first spot in the league with 104 points. The next game is Monday at the Garden where the Rangers are gonna take on the Pittsburgh Penguins. So I will have a video up after that. If you guys are new here, you've never, you know, seen these videos before, make sure you hit subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments about last night's game. Let me know what you think about the Rangers as we head into this postseason. And I will see you guys all in the next one. And until then, let's go Rangers.